Hello, welcome to the Cloud NGFW Video Nuggets. My name is Nidhi Pandey and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Palo Alto Networks. In this video, we will look at App ID feature with Cloud NGFW. Traffic classification is an important aspect of security policy. Traditional firewall classified traffic by port and protocol. However, this approach is inadequate as applications can bypass by hopping between ports or hackers using well-known open ports to launch an attack. For example, TCP port 80 or UDP port 53. Cloud NGFW provides visibility into the applications and lets you create and enforce security policy rules to enable, inspect, and block unwanted applications and unknown traffic. You can provide protection against full spectrum of legal, regulatory, productivity, and resource utilization risk. To accurately identify an application, multiple classification mechanism like application signature, protocol decoding, and heuristics are applied to the network stream. To define an app ID based policy from Cloud NGFW console, go to the rule stacks under manage and click on an existing rule stack or create a new one. Go to the rules tab. I have an existing rule which defines the traffic flow between two instances in separate VPCs. Click on this rule. You can also go ahead and create a new rule. Scroll down to the granular control section and you can create security rule and have the option to specify applications with the match criteria. For now, this rule allows traffic between the two instances in my VPC matching any application. I'm going to access one of the instance in the VPC and from here, I'm going to initiate a ping traffic to the other instance and we can see that the traffic is successful. Let's check the log from the AWS CloudWatch console. I have a log stream defined for the matching traffic. Click on the log stream with respect to the latest timestamp. Let's expand this and we can see that the rule hit is east-west traffic rule and this is an ICMP traffic, four packets were sent and the action is allowed. Now let's go ahead and change this configuration to deny the ping application. To do that, scroll down to the granular control section. Let's do a match. Click on the drop down, select application, click on ping, scroll down to the action section and let's select deny, save the changes and deploy the configuration to take effect. Now let's send the ping traffic again. and we can see that it's not successful. Let us go back to the CloudWatch console to see the log. Let's go to the log group and we can see a new traffic stream at the latest timestamp. Let's expand this event and we can see that the application ping has an action to draw. The dest IP is 10.1.1.115 and this is the private IP of our source subnet. This brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. For more information, please visit our live community page for Cloud NGFW. And thank you for watching.